Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle weekly grind video. This week we're going over the global side of Dokkan Battle. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because there's really not that, going much, there's not, not that much going on. Um, there is the third year anniversary just ended. So uh, we're like in the midst of waiting for newer stuff to come. We do have the spring campaign that's going on or the summer campaign that's going on. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. First one is the low class warrior Raditz's pride. This one will run until Friday, August 31st. Um, Pretty self-explanatory. You go in here, you farm up your Raditz to Super Attack 10, get all four Dupes unlocked, get him Doken Awaken with medals you get on Stage 4. He becomes the first free-to-play AOE unit when he Doken Awakens. When he Doken Awakens, that means he attacks everyone. Very good for World Tournament, especially if you have the Nuker Leader. I believe the Nuker Leader is the uh, Baby. Um, I think the Baby Vegeta. It should be. I know it's a summonable unit, so let's go ahead and take a look. I know it's Baby... Baby Disambiguation, I'm pretty sure it's this Vegeta over here. Super Baby. Yeah, he is. So attack plus 30%. When you Doken Awaken him, he will Doken Awaken into Intelligence type attack plus 33% per Intelligence Key Orb obtained. So you're going to want some Key Orb manipulators on that team when you're running him. Um, but yeah, he's a pretty good unit overall if you're looking for a free-to-play AoE. If you don't have one, if you're not looking for a World Tournament, he can still come in handy for you. Uh, if you give him full dupe system, I know he does some decent damage. Uh, it's mass damage. I believe mass is the equivalent of extreme so uh, he's not that great on Super Battle Road, but on like other events, like if you're doing some grinding on a standard event, not a Dokkan event, uh, he will at least be able to take out multiple opponents in one turn. If not take them out, he should at least be able to lower their health enough, especially if you run him on the proper team. Um, overall, and you also get this uh, Scouter too. Key plus two and force these enemy super attacks for three turns. Uh, I don't believe it hits you the, for the super attack thing. I don't think it hits you the first time you use it. It's the round after that, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But it's a pretty decent event. Uh, I already have mine uh, all the way at maxed out Super Attack 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. I do not have any orb investment into him. But that's only because I have OG Broly and LR Broly and all the other AoEs. Uh, I think my Majin Vegeta that I have is already set to do uh, like pretty much all four Dupes. Well, no, I think it's two Dupes unlocked. But either way, uh, pretty good setup I have over here. Um, outside of that, yeah. Uh, before we move on to the next one, please make sure to hit, consider hitting that subscribe button if you are new. Uh, I do weekly grinds every week, and I do, we go over all of the new cards, the banners, uh, linking guides, and team building guides as they come out. Uh, I will actually be doing the movie boss category soon. It's just not on Dokkan Battle Builder, and I did not want to use the JP side. Uh, but we'll be talking about a little bit th about that in a minute. Um, next one is going to be the Vegeta the Indomitable Warrior. Now, this one you definitely want to do if you haven't done this. I can 100%. 100% re recommend doing this. This runs until 8.30 once. You have another ha uh, half a month, 15 days uh, left to do this. So you need... Uh, stage 1 is Trunks Medals. Stage 3 is Bone Medals. You're going to need them to Dokken Awaken the Vegeta. You need to run Stage 2 in order to get these Milk things. Uh, that way you can get the Medals from the Baba Shop to Dokken Awaken the Strength version of the Vegeta. Uh, the number for Stage 4, you also have the SR variant of Vegeta. Now... Um, I would recommend if you don't have the strength one to Doken Awaken five of them, do one Super Attack 10, then one for all the dupads. pads. Uh, the, this guy does do, he doesn't do a lot of damage, he doesn't tank amazingly, but for a free-to-play unit, he does counter after he Doken Awakens. So he counters with enormous uh, power upon receiving normal attacks. He gives himself key plus three, attack and defense plus 50%, so he's very self-reliant. Um, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. Definitely worth uh, getting all four dupads pads unlocked of him if you don't have uh, the strength one. Uh, plus, he's really good for an agility team also. Uh, I mean, he's not, like I said, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage, but he at least has a decent defense buff, attack buff, he's self-sufficient, uh, and countering always makes him out damage because countering is awesome. So definitely do that. You're going to need to do the strength one as well, so make sure you get those Bulma and Trunks medals as well from this event. Uh, and then the Vegeta medals are going to begin from the milk cartons that you have to get from actually grinding level two. Go into the Baba shop and you purchase them, then you'll Doken Awaken him. He's a lot better, obviously, because he does attack and defense plus 100%, but he, as you notice, he does not give himself any key. Um, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta. Honestly, at this point, um, a lot of you did farm, did the whole grind. You guys got nine of these guys, plus the other five with a Super Attack 10 to get him up to Super Attack 10 with all four two pads unlocked, and then nine more, so you don't have to use other Kai's. Now, you can do that with the agility one. Just note that it is a huge, huge pain in the butt. I don't know how many of the Vegeta medals. I don't think there is even enough Vegeta medals available in the Baba Shop to do all nine of them. I think as the event comes back, it, re it refreshes. Uh, don't correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But I used Elder Kai's among because I was not doing that damn grind. It was a pain in the butt. 
Um, you also get uh, beers from this. Well, th this is the time that the beers came out, the intelligence one. Now, the intelligence one's actually really awesome. Supreme damage with an unconditional attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. Um, he requires beer spells from this, which is also going to require you to go and grind out stage two. Uh, when you grind out stage two, you get the milk cartons, you go and you buy his medals, the Doken Waken. Highly recommend doing that. Very good, very good event. Um, get the medals at least. Now, you also have this cool support item. Um, it randomly changes key to tech key orbs uh, for attack and attack plus 5% for tech key tier obtained for one turn. So someone like Majin Vegeta in the world tournament, some an item like this will be very good if you're lacking one of the good, good leaders. So you can go and bring the tech Majin Vegeta. You have him on a 120-led team or a resurrected team, whatever the heck you want to do with him. You have some dupes unlocked. You have... Uh, and you have some key orb manipulators bring this thing in here and he'll be doing even more damage and he might be able to one shot everyone on like round 30. again that's more like oriented towards if you're a world tournament player if not then it's not doesn't really matter uh but again this runs until 8 30 once you have some time next one is going to be the new turles event this is the actual dokun exclusive event uh it runs daily until 8 27 then it's only available i believe on agility days and extreme days um so he's a it's, it's a pretty easy event honestly if you are able to beat him before he transforms once he transforms it's pain in the butt um i brought my mono uh, intelligence team and my mono intelligence team that consists of gogeta uh, intelligence gogeta ultra instant goku super saiyan 3 bardock uh and then i bring a friend uh intelligence vegeto the uh, goku and vegeta card uh, i bring those two and i keep uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and the Vegito card together, and then I keep my Ultra Instant Goku and my Gogeta together because they link very well. Um, and I honestly, I don't use any items. I don't use anything for healing. Um, I just wait until the last round. By the time it gets to the last round, usually Ultra Instinct Goku has time to transform and Vegito has time to transform. Uh, so it's actually really awesome. In terms of the, so the, ro the rotating units, I just brought the support units. I have like the Super Saiyan uh, buff, buff Coup from the World Tournament, who does the key plus two attack and uh, attack and I think defense plus 25%. Um, the Pandel and there was another, oh, the uh, Gohan, the uh, the actual support unit, the Gohan, that's key plus three attack and defense plus 40%. So a uh, very, very good setup I have over there. And I beat this event before he transforms every time and it just destroys him. Usually because I get the transformations of Ultra Instinct Goku and the uh, the Vegito. If I don't have that, maybe not, but we'll see. It's still a pretty easy event, pretty good event. Um, if honestly, a Mono Intelligence team is more than enough to handle this. Um, he is pretty good. Giant form category characters can nullify Turles' stat boosting skill. Uh, so I know I didn't really do a review of this, uh, so I'm going to try and get it out here. Um, the giant form kind of sucks when you're going up against his event because I had to use a lot of, uh, Sensu Beans and Dendes in order to keep myself going. And I have all the good characters for this category. So I have Tapion and I have all the other good ones. So it's like, I was like, oh, God damn, this sucks because I keep on dying. So, um, yeah, no, it's definitely not worth it in my opinion. I would just do a Mono Intelligence team or any of, like, the Fusions team, the Realm of Gods team. Any of the category leads that are, like, 150 or the 170 leaders will be able to destroy it. Um, Turles, yes, 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 we talk about that. This event also, uh, other than the Doken exclusive where you need 77 of the uh, medals in order to Doken Waken him, uh, which I still, I haven't done. By the way, spoilers, I did pull him. I was very hyped about that. If you haven't followed me over on the Facebook, go over to the Dragon Ball Multiverse and follow me over there. I post up all my stuff that I have not released yet. Um, you also, from this event, Doken Wake in the Great Ape Turles, which actually becomes really awesome. Key plus three, attack plus 90%, and a chance to turn the Great Ape up to two times when key is nine or more. So, I mean, honestly, at all times, he's going to have nine key, so he's always going to have a chance to turn into a Great Ape. Um, it kind of stinks because I'm not a big fan of the Great Ape mechanic, but whatever. Uh, he is self-sufficient with key plus three, attack plus 90% is not horrible, especially with the Supreme Damage unit. He is the best linking buddy for... The, uh, the new Turles over here, they both will get Fierce Battle as well. They link for five link skills. It's very awesome. I will be talking about that in the future. Uh, and you also have the base form Goku over here. Uh, he is going to be a nuker. I don't think he's fantastic. I did see him nuke on other videos. Uh, I will probably not be doing that just because I don't have him at Super Attack 10, even though I got all those base form Gokus. I never decided to get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, and I think I don't even, I haven't even fed dupe heads into him when I've pulled dupes of him. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of him. Attack plus 10% and defense plus 20%. Um, per key orb, which is cool because that means he's going to be good do good next to Weirus, but honestly, I don't really need to do that, because I don't, I have better units than him, and even when he's getting a lot of key orbs, he's still not doing a lot of damage, it's only Supreme, but um, he boosts his offense, and he will at least be able to, get to tank very well when he's doing that, so he's not a horrible unit, so this is the event that you're going to want to focus on, especially because there's not that much going on, if you didn't do the other two events, this is definitely one you want to focus on, oh, I'm sorry, there's also this event all that that's here, but this one I kind of feel like so old, everyone should have, unless you're brand new, this one only runs for three more days as well, this is the Broly event, this one runs until, yeah, 818, three more days. Uh, Shamu is, Shamu, Shamu, <laughs> 
Shamo is not a bad uh, support item. You go ahead and get him from stage one. Uh, stage three sensor beams if you're lacking them so stage five is going to be the videl and trunks now definitely recommend grinding up videl not her for this card i mean you can get up to super attack five i believe that's when she has a special going on where like she increases super attack or something like that but i, I would definitely increase it and will not increase i definitely grab her as much as you can and if you have this girlish mystique videl i mean she doesn't even have a token awaken yet and this card is actually really really good um let's see over here not her leader ability is decent intelligence and strength type key plus three ta hp attack and defense plus 30 percent she does supreme damage, but when she launches a super attack, she lowers the attack and defense of the enemy. Um, her attack to enemy's attack is also reduced with her, just her passive skill alone, and she recovers 20% damage done as health. So, I mean, she's not going to be one of the hardest setters, especially because she doesn't have any buffs, but she's a decent unit overall. I mean, her she doesn't have any good, like, buffs. She doesn't have any, uh, yeah, she doesn't have any attack buffs whatsoever, but I mean, I, I actually have her rainbowed. I have her with full additionals because of that those debuffs. If you get her with a full additional double super attack, that means it's a 40% debuff. And the lowers attack and defense, I don't know, it doesn't really tell us down here what the heck that actually is. But I'm sure it's something like 10% or something like that, or whatever whatever the heck it could be. But that means she's literally debuffing the enemy to the point where they're not going to do any damage. If you get a double super attack with her, the enemy's like going to be doing half damage. It's going to be insane. Plus a double super attack, mind you, you're also going to be recovering that much more health. So that's going to be awesome. So I highly recommend doing that. At least get her to super attack. And you don't need to rainbow her like I did. Uh, I would do at least the additionals inside um, of the dupe system. If you can do, if you have the orbs to do that with, uh, give her at least full additional and um, get her all four dupe pads unlocked. Not a bad unit. I think she was one of the best ones out of all the Valentine's units up until the JP side anyway. Uh, but yeah, also um, stage six, you have the Goku, the Gohan and the, the Goten medals all available you need to have like seven of each of them or something like that in order to token awaken the og leads so you have the well, not the leads the og uh kamehameha family so you have this goku token awakens this gohan token awakens and this trunks of oh, trunks go 10 token awakens honestly my favorite one is still going to be this gohan he does attack plus 90 percent when he token awakens and remember guys they are getting extremes the awakening soon that should be coming right around the corner um all of them are really good Goten is a key orb manipulator really good on an lr broly team if you're running him for the world tournament i use him for key orb manipulation uh goku not so much uh, you, when he gets extremes the awaken he's not horrible um but he's still not that great there's other super saiyan gokus that i would consider running uh, but really gohan is number one for me and goku after Z e easy a is probably number two but until he gets it the goten is definitely better because of that key orb manipulation um shamu shamu uh shamu whatever it is all enemies attack and defense minus 30 percent for two turns definitely very good he's also a decent unit for a uh, decent support item for super battle road so now we're also now we're talking about the uh, Dokenfest exclusive banner. This one is for the Turles. Uh, this one isn't uh, that bad of a banner. Some people are kind of against it. Some people are for it. I'm one of those who are for it. Uh, first things first, I'm going to talk about this in a separate video as well. Turles is not going to be available in the future, at least in the foreseeable future, unless they change things on the on the global side. Yeah, I don't believe he has come back on the JP side at all. So uh, keep that in mind when you're looking to summon for him, because uh, if you want him, you, now is going to be the time to get him. He is the movie boss category leader. Uh, there are no other leaders in that category as of right now. And because he has not been back available yet, if you don't get him now, I don't know when the next time. You're probably not going to be able to get him at least until Christmas. Uh, and that's just speculation on my part. I don't know. Now, in terms of the other units on the banner, Tapion, not a big fan of. I already have him, though, so maybe that's why I wouldn't mind grabbing him. But really, the Janemba and the Korra. I have two dupes of Janemba, but I don't have any dupes of Korra. And I really like Korra. So I wanted to get dupes of him. That's honestly why I summoned on this banner was for Korra. The fact that I actually pulled Turles, I was actually very impressed. Um, outside of that, um, the, the Golden Frieza is a really good unit. Uh, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, not so much. And Beerus, not so much. So this banner is kind of whack, uh, unless you're specifically looking for anything in here. Uh, but honestly, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. The 120 leaders are always good to have. They're always good to have. Me, personally, Janemba and Korra would love to have them. I would like to get them rainbowed out. Korra, I would just like to at least have bottom right, but I'm not doing any more summons on that. This is a good banner. Uh, I would recommend at least putting one or two summons and multis into it, um, or at least like 100 stones into it. See what happens. See what you get if you get lucky. Unless you like really don't care and you don't want him and you're just waiting for the, another banner coming out in the future, then maybe we'll just... But uh, again, if you guys want to summon, it will be available till 827. You have another like set, uh, 12 more days for that to be available, almost two weeks. Uh, the other one, the last one, is going to be the Movie Boss Category Summon. Now, do, I don't recommend, do not summon on this banner at all. Uh, while it does have the Turtles Great Ape, which is his best linking buddy, I don't think it's worth it to summon on this banner. Uh, the biggest thing about this banner um, is, let's see, over here is it? Here we go. Uh, let's see. So you have Turles, you have Bojack, you have Android 13, you have Korra, the support unit, Frieza, Korra, Beerus, Bojack, uh, Janemba, and Beerus. So all these guys get Doken Awakens. They all become decent units. But honestly, in terms of let your optimal T 
team that you're going to run, assuming you have LRs, obviously, uh, you're never going to run any of these units. Maybe the uh, the, the core is going to be like the only one. You're not going to run anyone else. Um, pretty much it's going to be all Dokken Fest exclusives and support units, and that's really about it. I don't recommend doing it. If you're going to, if you're trying to do it just to maybe get lucky and pull an LR, the Rising Dragon banner is coming out really soon, so I would wait for that. that that's also going to have the new LR Beerus on it, so it might be worth it to wait for that. Personally, I really want this guy. Come on. I want this one so bad. Anyway, Goku Black. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. I don't recommend doing it, even for the discounted summons. I usually do. I did one on it just to maybe get lucky. I didn't get anything good, so I was like, yeah, well, whatever. I tried. But don't, definitely don't do it. Don't do not do as I do. Just do as I say. Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's nothing else really to talk about. The game's kind of dead right now because third year just ended. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I will bring out more information as it comes out, and I will definitely be doing some reviews of the banner, uh, whether you should summon or not, and a full in-depth review like I used to do of every banner. It just got kind of hectic and crazy. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.